Hi, Jason Knott with CE Pro, and I'm excited to be joined today by Fred Rosen, CEO of Red Carpet Home Cinema. Hi, Fred. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for joining me. Let's Pleasure. jump right into it. You know, the coronavirus has spurred home theater. There's no doubt about it. Integrators I've spoken with have absolutely seen a resurgence for this. Uh, it'll be interesting to see from the public standpoint how much reticence there is or isn't to get back into commercial movie theaters. All of this is, I think, right in the wheelhouse of red carpet home cinema, what you provide to the industry. So tell us a little bit about what you've got planned for the Cedia Expo virtual booth. Well, our booth will be pretty simple. You'll, as we did last year, people will be able to come in. Um, Bob Kaiser and Alan Citron will be there and I'll be there on for some of it. And basically we'll answer what people's questions are. This, this is a, the, the product hasn't changed. It's basically a media server. It requires an HDMI connection, a, a static IP address and a plug. And if you have those three things, um, it will work. The reason for a static IP address is because we don't want you to move. The, every box needs a heartbeat. That's basically the best way to put it. The, the box provides um, uh, um, digital watermarking. So we know if anybody does anything silly, um, we know who to find. Most people don't. As a matter of fact, nobody's done it. You're dealing with an audience that's really 1% of the 1%. And if you're going to build a screening room t in today's world, what you really want them for, what they really counts is for first run movies and for sports. Clearly sports is coming back to your heart's content and that's kind of fun. And the second part is, look, the access to have first run movies is a great benefit for a lot of people who are spending all this money. And people want to consume some of this content in their home. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the day and date service, like you said, is for that elite customer. And it's important for integrators not to try and sell this thinking about their own, their own wallet, right? No, you, you have to look at it like this. Yes, the movies rent for two showings for 1500 to two grand in a 36 hour period. But the other side to that is that's a quarter of an hour on a plane. That's a bottle of wine. And the people who are doing this, it's a function of convenience. Um, when I used to have, I've been on the Bel Air circuit for 25 years, when we used to have projectionists, because um, you need a projectionist because you used to get reels before everything became digital, we would spend 35 to 40 grand a year on movies. So there is clearly a limited audience for this. I think it's three or 4,000 homes around America. But the point is you have deals with Warner Brothers, Paramount, Lionsgate, MGM, a bunch of more of the independent, Annapurna, and another half a dozen of the smaller independents. And for people who say you don't have Disney, let me be clear, you can either have 45 or 50% of something or 100% of nothing. And that's how you have to look at it. And so nobody's gonna wind up with everything. And my view is this is a great, it's a great, advantage to have being able to see a movie the day it comes out in your home. What about the other myth that's kind of lingering out there that uh, people at that level want to have 4K? Ah, the magic 4K. The box will handle 4K, but the studios do not give you 4K files. They give you 1080p or 2K. And by the way, for the record, that's exactly what people see when they go to the movie theaters, because it's the same file. So 4K isn't made until they're made for Blu-ray. But I will tell you the following, when we've been in beta for about a little over a year and we have some you know, pretty sophisticated people who have joined our service, no one's complained about the picture. No one called up and said, you're missing nine pixels. No one's complained about the sound. And the fact is, I think that's not a real issue. The real issue is people want the content and, they, and when they see how that is delivered, because this, the, their sets also upgrade the picture. I, I defy anybody to really be able to tell the difference. And what's important is that you only pay for what you consume. So there's no minimum obligation. You don't have to buy two, you don't have to rent two movies or 20 movies. Whatever your um, consumer or whatever your client wants to see, that's what they pay for. So at the expo, again, the virtual expo, it's unfortunate we're not going to be there in person, but integrators can go to cediaexpovirtual.com and they can find red carpet home oh, cinema either in the search box in the upper left or in the top nav pull down in the video category. So we look forward to seeing you at the show this year. 
Thank you for taking the time. We look forward to seeing you also. Have a great day.